college football is yes, where we get this party started. BYU has emerged as one of the surprises in the nation this year. Off to a perfect start through five games and climbed in the national rankings to number 14 in the AP poll. The national spotlight starting to shine a bit more on Provo with big noon kickoff in town for its Saturday morning show. Will the Cougs crumble under that building pressure or continue to rise to the occasion? BYU back at Lavelle Edwards Stadium this afternoon against the Arizona Wildcats, a team that lost to Texas Tech last week. On the Cougars opening drive, they get down into the red zone thanks to a couple of pass completions to Chase Roberts and a couple of nice runs by Retzloff. BYU has fourth and four at the five-yard line. They go for it instead of the field goal. Retzloff's pa pass to the end zone is incomplete, so it's a turnover on downs, and the Wildcats cash in. An 11-play, 95-yard drive that ends with a touchdown pass from Noah Fafita to Montana Lamonius Craig for the 7-0 lead. That would be the score at the end of the first quarter. BYU's next possession carried into the second. Once again, they went for it on fourth down. Fourth and two at the 35. LJ Martin, back from injury, takes the pitch 15 yards into the red zone. Very next play. Jake Retzloff, perfect pass to Parker Kingston and a great catch. Touchdown Cougars ties the game at seven. On the Wildcats next drive, just when it looked like they were having their way with the BYU defense again, the Cougars come up big time. Tanner Wall with the acrobatic interception at the one yard line. BYU takes over, backed up against their own end zone. The Cougars got some breathing room with this pass from Retzloff to Darius Lasseter for 16 yards. BYU got first downs on three of the next four snaps after that pass. And then this happens. Could be a double throw. There's the first, and here's the second, and Martin makes the catch for the touchdown! Parker Kingston throws to LJ Martin on the double throw, and the Cougs take the lead! Yeah, after one half of play, BYU has a 14-7 lead after that touchdown pass. Now, I don't think you could have asked for a better start to the second half. Intercepts at the 10-yard line! Jacob Robinson's interception, the very next play, Jake Retzloff, then to Chase Roberts, a BYU touchdown in a 21-7 lead, just 10 seconds into the half. Then, on the second snap of Arizona's next possession, Isaiah Glasker sacks Fafita. The ball is loose, Harrison Taggart recovers. That would lead to a BYU field goal and a 24-7 lead. After a second field goal, BYU took a 17-point lead into the final quarter. Arizona started the fourth quarter by capping an 18-play drive with a field goal to cut the lead to 27-13. BYU answers by taking just six plays to go the length of the field. Jake Retzloff to Darius Lasseter, that one for 38 yards. The drive ends with LJ Martin punching it in from the one. BYU takes the 34-13 lead. Arizona hoping for a miracle at this point, backed up in their own end zone. Fafita pressured on the pass and picked off by Isaiah Glasker, and he houses it. BYU off to a 6-0 start with the 41-19 win. I always love it because I know when Coach Hill calls a corner blitz, he knows like we're probably either going to get home or make a play. So, um, yeah, I just called in, and then I saw the quarterback look at the tight end who motioned and then just tried to throw, so I stuck my hand out and caught it. So. Man, our defense is doing it week in and week out. It is so awesome. Deja vu from the K-State game, right? I mean, the two turnovers right away, back-to-back to, back to start the half. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's it's incredible to play with those guys on the other side of the ball. The atmosphere, the environment was so, so electric. It was fun. It was just really cool to be part of it. And um, glad the guys got the W.